everybody, Kim Doyle, WordPress Chick here. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to add the featured image so that it will show up in your posts, in the sidebar um, of your posts. Uh, this is a client site and I'm actually going to show you two little tips. So we'll do the featured image. I'm going to show you how to remove the home from the page if you don't want that to show up. Um, this is the magazine theme, so let's go ahead and we'll look at a page and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this, you've got your primary sidebar widget, and we want to use the Genesis featured post widget to pull over an image. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. It'll be easier if you see it. I'm not sure if they've got any posts, so we're going to probably just do a dummy one. Okay, so we'll take the hello world here. Okay, let's grab some uh, lorem ipsum content, or let's just actually, I'm just going to grab text from a post of mine, just easier. <laughs> okay, so let's just do this. Da, 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 da. Okay, we'll just grab this text. Okay. Let's put this in here. Okay, so we've got our, you've got your post, um, and what we want is I'm trying to think. Here, let me show you another client site, just so you understand exactly what we're looking for here. Oh, of course, she's not using feature <laughs> images. Oh goodness, let's go. Now this is, um, the Simply Be Kind is um, using the minimum theme, but this is a featured image. And so it's not essentially, because all of the Studio Press Child themes have different areas. This is a featured image because all of these are widgets. These are all featured images. So you'll see they're different sizes. So we do want it to show up um, in his primary sidebar. So what we're gonna do is we'll grab an image. Let's say, I'm gonna kind of keep things uniform here because you can also put an image in the post I'll show you, this will be easier. An image in the post and use a different featured image. So you'll see here that I've got the movie image, which by the way, this movie was fabulous, um, but it's not the featured image. So you can do that as well. But for the time being, we're gonna just go ahead and work with this primary sidebar. Okay, so let's upload an image. Um, he's gonna delete this, so we'll be fine with all that. Let's. You can tell I didn't think too far out. Let's go into WordPress check. There's probably some more. Um, most of the themes, and you'll see once you get into them, um, that they will have some different uh, formats for sizing. So this, okay, so 150 by 180, we'll do that. Now there's two things I want you to pay attention to while we're doing this. So this title, add image in WordPress, that's gonna show up on the title. And then I'm also going to put the same thing under alternate text. What this alternate text does is it creates an alt tag because the search engine can't read pictures. Um, so you want, it puts it in an alt tag and this is what the search engines are going to read. So don't put your pictures in where it says, sorry, that was dog snoring, uh, image 3561 or whatever. Um, and the same thing for the title because then when you hover over the image, the title will appear. So you don't want that. I always remove the links. I don't know why, just kind of have it now. Um, okay, so this is actually what we're gonna take care of here. So the first thing you wanna do, I do want it to show up in the left top corner of my post, but I also want it to show as the featured image. So we're gonna select that, and then we're gonna insert it into the post, okay? So if you scroll down, you also see it under the featured image. Now, I know the theme pretty well, so I know that I wanna use it um, in the sidebars, and I'll show you how we're gonna make that work, as well as this is the same place where you'll see the different sizes for featured images, okay? So let's go ahead and update this. Okay, now we're gonna come over to Appearance and Widgets. We're gonna select our primary sidebar, and we're gonna pull in a featured post, this Genesis featured post. 
You can do the exact same thing with a featured page if you want to highlight a page. So as an example on this site, maybe they want to make sure that they've got the top, whether it's an opt-in form, um, this is for a November event, or they've got register by now. So maybe they'll link th this top thing. You can create something for the register now page as an example. Okay, so we're going to do our post though. So I'm going to go ahead and drag over this Genesis featured post. And we're going to title the widget. Let's just pretend this is a register now page. Register today and save. Um, this is where once you have more posts, you'll get options here for categories. So we'll just leave it for all categories. I only want to show one. It's going to order by date and it's going to go descending from recent past or you can do the first one and then it goes, you know, so it would show up if you write a post Monday, it would show Monday, Sunday, Saturday. Make sense? I never show the author gravatar in a post. It tends to be a bit too much. This is where we're going to select show the featured image. And now the thumbnail is 150 by 150. So it, it's also helpful um, when you're doing this is that you can come in and this is where you can select. See the different sizes? Now this is for this featured tabs. This is part of the magazine theme. We're going to just cruise back really quick. I was actually doing this video for the client and we're just going to do a whole bunch of things at once. <laughs> um, this is the featured tabs. So this actually has the option to use the 150 by 225 image. So, you know, if you're getting started with this, you can come in and select based on your theme um, which size. So mine was 150 by 180. So I'm going to select 150 by 150 and it will automatically resize that. So we'll see what that looks like. It may cut it off, but yeah. Or if you're going to do it in the sidebar, maybe you want to do the mini square or just the, the regular square. So let's go ahead. Let's do the mini square. Just so you guys can see what that looks like, which tends to look nicer in a sidebar. I actually have another client that we're using this on, so we're just going to peek at that too. Sorry, a little slow this morning. So here you can see these are one, this is the thumbnail. So it's pretty big, but again, it's going to be really, um, it's going to depend on, you know, the look you want. So just uh, FYI on that and you can play with it. Okay. We'll stay focused and we'll go back. Okay, so then we're going to want to show the post title. Now, if you click this, it's going to show post date, post authors, all of this info here. Post comments, okay? Now, the other thing, you can, these are short codes, you can also, sorry, I'm actually not going to show this post info, but maybe you just wanted the author, so you could pull out the post date and you could pull out post comments. So it would just show by and the author, but we're not going to show that. Now I want to show the excerpt or you can actually show a content limit. And what's nice about that is as they start adding widgets in here, you'll see this is a very long sidebar because they've got, um, it's a big speaker page. So maybe they want to show, you know, 500 characters. Let's just do, I don't know, 350. I don't even know if there's that many. And that's characters meaning just like Twitter where you have 140 characters, not words. And then you can say read more. This gives you the option to show linked bulleted list of posts in the same category. So you could say show two, you know, more from this category, or you could show a link to the archives. So let's just go ahead and save that. You don't have to close that. I'm just goofy about that stuff. Now you'll see what I did. A couple things, which actually I realized I need to change the color on this. We didn't align this image. So let's go back. And we want to, I got so caught up in the size, huh? Image alignment left, which will automatically wrap the text to the right of our widget, our image, excuse me. Ta-da! So you can play with this. Let's try the 115. You know, so that's, a, that's not bad. So there you go. So that's all you need to do. And so you can see this. Um, so I need to change these widget titles, the colors here. Um, so you can do that. Now really quick, I do want to show you the how to remove the home text. Oops. All right. So we're going to do, this is just a little style sheet cheat. I'm going to come into editor 
and I'm going to grab my little cheat here. Um, and this, I had actually um, posted this with StudioPress in their forum. I'm going to go to the end of the style sheet. And I was hoping that we could do it, um, oh, i got to do one more thing, uh, just separate the page IDs by comma. So if somebody sees this and knows a better way to do this, holler, because again, you want to do this without a plugin, ideally. The one thing I forgot is I do need the post ID. Oops, I'm going to pause this. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Note to self, um, turn the cell phone on vibrate when you're doing a video. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. We do need the post ID. So you come up here and you can see in your URL where it says post equals one. So that is ID. That's the ID. Now that is the same for, for posts and pages. So oh, what am I doing? I didn't want the post. I needed the page. That's what I get for trying to do too many things at once. So you'll see though, this is good, you'll see that the post still says post. So don't worry about that. So it's 140 is what I'm looking for, the number. Okay. And again, you can do, um, you can add a plugin that says, uh, you know, show post or category ID or whatever, but you don't need it. So just because you can see it there. So now, I'm going to grab this little bit of code and we're going to put in 140 here. That's it. So I do want to make sure that the client is fine with that. Um, and so then if you wanted to do another one, just drop it down and put the page ID in there. Okay, and I can attach, we'll do that. Um, it's a text doc if you want to download that just to see, so you can get the actual code and then remember you put your page ID in here so let's update that again just because I'm oops didn't mean to go there oh I clicked through on something okay let's look at this and do a refresh Ta -da! so that's it so again um, this is your primary sidebar featured widget and these just couple little things, these are called breadcrumbs. They're good for SEO too. This lets the, per, the reader know that they're on the home page, um, excuse me, home, and then speakers and artists. So um, anyways, that's it. That's your featured widget. And remember again, so uh, Studio Press, the child themes have multiple areas where you can select the featured sizes. So just like on um, Simply Be Kind, which check that out, that's my new site I'm having a ball with. Um, but there's multiple featured Im image sizes here. So let me just show you that really quick since we're here. And then I'm going to wrap this up because this is turning into a not quick video. Okay. But this is also where you will be able to figure out what size images goes where. Okay, so on this site, that welcome area um, we want to do featured. Oh, and actually I switched this out to show some custom taxonomies. But you'll see this, this featured. So you see, you'll, you see for this, the, the featured box is 50 by, one, by 250. 500, oh, for the love, slow down on the coffee. Okay, 500 by 250. And then the portfolio, which are the thumbnails underneath, are 160 by 100. And then there's all the thumbnails are always going to be 150 by 150. So if you're not sure what size and you're looking at the demo, it's in there. So this is the 500 by 250 and this is a 160 by 100. Was that what it is? Anyways, that's your featured image for your sidebar post. So hope that helps um, and you can align it right. You don't need to align it and you can play with the image sizes. So have fun. Thanks.